you can motivate yourself even when you feel like trash. Watch this video and I'll teach you how. And we are live. Hello. Welcome to Rosabeth's new motivation. I'm Michaela Rosabeth and I'll be your host for today's episode, How I Motivate Myself Even When I Feel Like Giving Up. On here, on Rosabeth Moon Motivation, you're going to be finding a lot of self-help tips and tricks by me. I am going to be your self-help guide throughout this journey. My mission is to help people help their mind, their body, and their spirit. And on Rosabeth Moon Motivation, I go more into depth on self-help tips and development practices. And the best part is that I don't judge you for what works for you and what doesn't. I'll always encourage you to do and pick what works for you because after all, I'm here to help you and your life is all about you. So I'm not going to take it personal. Instead, I'm just going to be here to help explain some ways that you can help yourself. That said, today's episode is going to be all about motivation. And at the beginning, I decided what I'm going to do is now my videos are going to be broke down into chapters. They're in the description below. It's going to start with my story at first. And at the end, I have two tips and tricks on how to motivate yourself. You can find those in the description below if you prefer one or the other. All right, let's jump into today's episode. Before we jump into part one, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsors of today's episode, Moon Magic Botanicals over at rosabethmoon.com, an all organic, natural, fair trade and sustainable skincare company. More on that later in the episode. All right, so here's my story. I wanted to say stories about why I'm making these videos because I do genuinely believe it's going to help you connect the dots in why I'm the one telling you all of this. Why are you not just, you know, reading a book on it? Why me, right? So I'm an entrepreneur. I'm the CEO of Rosabeth Moon LLC, and it's a self-help company. I really genuinely want to help people. So I quit my corporate full-time well-paying job and decided to full-fledged go into content creating so I can help people that felt how I felt and show them how I helped myself feel better, right? Nobody though told me that starting a business is going to mean failure after failure after failure. And I literally mean after failure. My testing, production, manufacturing, labeling, bottling, ingredients. For some weird reason, everything that I was doing and that I got trained to do in business school was failing. Literally. And I poured, I poured thousands and thousands of dollars into this company myself. I went and got a business degree and went to herbalism school just to get training to help people. I did all of this and when my business and start parts of it started, you know, failing to the average assumption of what was written on my business plan, the average projections, all that good stuff, I genuinely started beating myself up in my head, you know. The negative thoughts decided they wanted to pop back in and tell me that I should just give up now because I'll never truly help people like I could help myself. I started getting those, you know, really, really nasty thoughts in my head that was like, you can't do this. You're never going to be a success in the self-help industry. Why do you think that you could actually make a difference? Even though I am completely different than a lot of the self-help people on YouTube, a lot of the self-help YouTubers, because I'm never going to tell you what you choose is incorrect. I am going to tell you all different types of perspectives, including scientific, including spiritual, including religious, because self-help is not a one type of deal. I'm going to tell you exactly how I helped myself. Also, I'm not going to sugarcoat this, right? And so... I'm completely different and parts of my brain and parts of my thoughts were coming back at me saying that I can't do this. I can't be who I want to be. I can't help people the way that I help myself. 
because why could I do it, right? I've been working on this company, it's 2024, for five years. <laughs> for five years, going to different schools and getting different trainings and doing different self-help things. And I just thought that I had it, right? I thought that I could, I had it at the beginning. I thought that I put so much energy and effort and money and, you know, everything into this that it would just work automatically and it didn't. It kept failing. And... I've been on this self-help journey for so long that I do have quite a bit of mental tools and so I can face this when these thoughts come up. Recently, it just got to the point where it really, really beat me up because I am working right now <laughs> around 15 hour days making sure that my website and my self-help resources are up and that my skincare company is going and is actually in stores right and is working in stores and that the labels were like so much it's just so much stuff so much and it wasn't working and it's like when you pour that much time and energy into something years and years and years and thousands and thousands of dollars and it doesn't work it the thoughts will come up that you should give up so I wanted to make this video because if I'm experiencing this after literally getting self-help training and healing my own disorders for the past six, seven years, then I'm sure someone else is going through the same kind of feeling that I am. And so I wanted to give two tips on how I am managing to get out of this give up spiral, right? Tip number one, when I feel like giving up, I remember my why, okay? I learned this in business school. My why and your why is something that is so strong that you are so passionate about that no matter what feelings come up, it will never negate that you will continue to put actions towards it. Here's what I mean, okay? The idea is to formulate something that is like I will never give up because this is more important than giving up and here's my example my why is to help others right help others help themselves feel better <laughs> especially specifically the people that felt the way that I did feel better and my why is so strong because I felt like the worst of the worst I've always had a kindness for people. I've always been a sweetheart. I literally, it was my nickname as a child was sweetheart because I'm so kind. I care about people so strong. I really genuinely care about people. <laughs> I do. I don't want to cry. I care about people because I want to help them, right? I want to help them feel better and be confident and actually look in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful, you know, when you haven't necessarily thought that to yourself before. And, and this is how strong my why is, right? <laughs> I want to help people so feel better so bad because I could help myself feel better. And so that's my why. So tip number one, <laughs> find a why that's so strong that it literally can bring up tears and emotions in you that even when you're feeling and it seems like the illusion of reality right is that everything is against you your why is stronger than that your why is stronger than those feelings right tip number two before we get into that i do want to give a shout out i do want to give a shout out to moon magic botanicals i'm going to keep this really short um long story short i genuinely was tired of finding what skin cares to pair together i was tired of figuring out what type of chemicals i need and i was tired of finding out that there was added colors and added stuff that actually was hurting my skin when all i wanted to do was help it so i went to herbalism school i got trained in whole herbalism medicine and how to create herbalism botanical products and skincare that has all the benefits from the herbs and that's cooked at the proper temperatures without having any of the harshness without having any of the waste that other companies do you know with being accessible with these ingredients and so i created it you know 
I created it for myself and then my sister and my family and then clients and we're now in stores and I'm very grateful. Please check out Moon Magic Botanicals at rosabethmoon.com. And also we now have an Instagram shop and a TikTok shop. I got approved from all of those because I am in fact an LLC. <laughs> Please check those out. I really appreciate you supporting me and helping not only you and your skin, but helping others in theirs too. Tip number two, think of where you would be if you gave up. And this is a really, really important tip because it's understanding that if you gave up, who would you be? What would you feel, right? I would never know who I could be and who I could help and the impact that I could do if I didn't give up when things got tough. And that is so powerful to me because I know that I would revert back to my old feelings when I was experiencing trauma. I would go back to hopelessness and despair and back to depression. I would go back to feeling like I am wasting my life, you know? I feel like I genuinely would be somebody that would cry daily because they're wasting their life away instead of doing what I could have done if I just if I just didn't give up if I just kept I know I'm getting passionate but if I just kept going if I just kept pushing and if I just kept adapting and changing and growing and speaking about it and trying then I could have impacted people's lives and help them feel better like I help myself so point number two tip number two is think about who you would be if you actually gave up if you're okay with that person then I'm not gonna judge you give up but you're watching this video so there's a good chance that you don't want to give up so at the end of every video I do want to give some assignments for you to do I'm an assignment type gal I'm really good at learning I love knowledge and so I wanted to give you guys some I will have these assignments in a workbook on my website at rosebethmoon.com the moon has three O's in it just like the podcast and also it's going to be in the description below for you guys to check out it has all these assignments on it and even a little bitty worksheet to go with it if you prefer to print it and write it instead of hearing it on this podcast in this episode awesome so three assignments okay assignment number one figure out your why if you don't know why check out season one episode 12 how to find your passion and do the assignments on that episode because you will find your why find the why that is so strong to you that genuinely when that feeling of giving up and regret and despair pops up you know you can cry it out figure out your why assignment number two write down who you are when you've achieved your why right visualize instead of understanding who you would be if you gave up understand who you're going to be when you succeed and assignment number three listen to never gave up affirmations last week i believe episode 17 i talked about why affirmations are really great and i gave science backing spiritual backing and religious backing for affirmations and I actually, on Affirmation Sundays, release the Never Give Up Affirmations. If my resources don't work out for you, that's okay. Mine are free. Check them out. If you don't, that's okay. Find what works for you, right? But I highly, highly suggest to, ne to listen to I Never Gave Up Affirmations or write down your own. Thank you so much for coming to this episode. I hope that you found some quality value in it because my whole why is to give you value to help your life help you feel better please subscribe check out my other videos in the card that i put above at the beginning of the episode or i will have a subscription link in the description if you'd like to click just a simple straight link remember the article is down there and please check out moon magic botanicals at rosabethmoon.com uh, yeah i do um <laughs> this is what it looks like this is the travel size body butter it's really amazing and it's all handmade for quality assurance remember you have the power of choice you can choose to give up 
if you're okay with that circumstance. And you can also choose to look at your why and keep going in life and actually succeed in doing what you want to do. My name again is Michaela Rosabeth. This is Rosabeth Moon Motivation. Hope everybody has a great day. I'm immensely grateful for you joining me today. Have a good one.